Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. This one was actually sent by a uh, viewer. And that's part of the reason the note cards are on the box. I taped them on there to uh, keep his information private. But uh, I'm really excited because I don't remember what it is. So thank you to whoever sent this. Uh, we'll talk about it here in a sec. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. There's like actually two different things this month so far that I have uh, coming from viewers. Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. Who's this from? <laughs> Interesting. What do we have here? Japanese candy of some sort. Classic series. Okay. One of those is golden apple oh, coconut candy. Okay. And then this is, <laughs> who knows? I have no idea what this fruit is. Interesting. I will try it. Thank you very much. We have, oh, we do have a note. Good deal. And we have, here is the actual knife itself. I'm a big fan of notes. Here is the, ah, this is the one that I was waiting for. This particular one is a final prototype that I scored from a gentleman who uh, worked for the company. Uh, the only difference between this and the full production is the maker and steel markings. Okay, I did unfortunately crush the box. <laughs> Thanks, guys. But that isn't an issue for me. Okay, cool. Um, awesome. Let's open this up and take a look. You might be familiar with this company. I am familiar with the company through... It says not a Brian Brown. Okay. I am familiar with this company through their flashlights but oh it is much more robust than i thought it was going to be <laughs> uh that is interesting okay i do this was i was immediately attracted to this knife um through the aesthetic uh definitely i really like how they've got this milling line around the inlay actually the inlay itself i think is cut slightly higher no it's flush it's just beveled right and then the inside of that line that houses uh, the uh, inlay, it's the same on both sides. Really nice, really nice highlight. It's not like sitting like perfectly flush, which honestly is really nice when you can get it perfect. It's kind of hard to get it perfect, but this I think not only hides any potential flaws, it looks better in my opinion. Okay, decent flipping action there. Have you, wow, the action's really smooth and I think, I think you ha might have a slightly loose pivot, definitely. So here's the question. How on earth do you get inside of it? Does the note hide any secrets? The cool thing about this knife, I'm going back to reading the note, is that the inlays aren't screwed in, but rather held in place with a strong industrial adhesive. They won't fall out on their own, but there is a slot on the inside near the butt of the knife that you can pry up and pop them out. Interesting. This means you could replace the carbon with any material you want. My put some in it. It has been too long since I've sent you a knife. Uh, so no one discussed what okay, and etc. etc. Okay, very cool. Uh, you wait, he says, I would also, I would love to see you try the yellow one on this video or live stream. All right, what the heck? Durian, well, hold on, I've heard about this. I've heard about this fruit. Oh, god, that is uninviting. Oh boy, hmm, hmm. It tastes like something that you would repair a, a leather chair with. That is an odd taste. Hmm. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, mop water. Sweet mop water. <coughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Blah. That's really weird. It's not bad. It's just weird. How do you access the pivot? Okay, this can be pried up is what he said. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, it's a really good looking knife and it clearly just needs the pivot tightened. But how we do that is of is at this moment kind of a mystery. Okay, so I actually stopped recording and went and watched a video on YouTube that explains how this knife works. And it's interesting. I'm not in love with it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But, um, so in order to access the pivot, which is obviously very important because this uh, blade has come off center and is wobbly. Now this is normally remedied. If you're new to knives, it's not a big deal. This is going to happen to your knife. I don't care what it is. I don't care who made it. This happens over time. Normally we have access to the pivot from the outside of the knife. 
like this, right? Not on this side, but on this side. So if it comes off center or if it gets wobbly or whatever, you just tighten it down. Sometimes you have to check the body screws, right? That's fine. This does have all that stuff, but it's underneath this inlay. So how do we get the inlay off? Well, you uh, would use a little tool, which they apparently do not provide. Uh, and you would, it would be like a hook shaped tool, something you can get in here and you would literally push it in here, right? So almost like a little, like a short Allen key or something like that, angled key or whatever. And you pop the, uh, you pop the inlay off. How is the inlay held down? With adhesive. That means that once you pop it off, the adhesive has been weakened. You could probably press it down back on there, but it's been weakened and you risk it coming back off. Apparently when you buy this knife, and by the way, I think this is US made product, which is pretty cool. Not 100% certain on that. That was what it said in the video that I watched, but I would suggest you do your own research first. I haven't looked that far into it, but if it is a US product, that's really, really cool, right? You pop this off and then you'll have access to the pivot. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I wanna talk with the person who sent this to me. I wanna say, hey, you know, maybe can we demonstrate this for the review? Um, but uh, that's fine that it comes with the adhesive strips. Number one, <laughs> the company, you should probably provide the tool, like if it's required to do that. And number two, ugh, adhesive is not my favorite way. Like there's gotta be a way to act, it's fine. If you have to use adhesive to stick this down, it's part of the design, because truthfully, let's give credit where it's due, this looks cool, right? This is obviously well made. There's nothing wrong with having to act, you know, tighten down the pivot, that's fine. The flipping action feels good, the execution feels good. I'm a little bit surprised this is made in the United States, but okay. I mean, and when I say that, I mean, it's really nice. Like, usually there's just like a few select people making like ultra nice USA made knives, right? So that's why I always question a little bit. But hey, if it is made in the USA, cool. The detent feels great. The flipping action feels great. I think the design is extremely cool. I love the look of it. No hardware that's visible except for the lock bar uh, inserts. But we don't have that easy access to the pivot. That's arguably the part that needs the... The, the easiest access, right? I mean, that's the, that's the part that we're gonna adjust the most often, right? Or you set it and, you know, you set it with blue Loctite and then you're good for a bit, which if it's gonna be this way, it needs to be absolutely perfect from the factory and unable to come undone, which is clearly not gonna be the case. I don't wanna have to continue adding adhesive strips every time I need to adjust the pivot right? Or just depending on whatever's left of the life of the previous adhesive uh, strip. So a different system that does not, I know it's going to be tricky because the idea here is clearly to not have any of the hardware showing. That is clearly a huge part of this design. You add a pivot to it and I'm going to, I'm trying to think like the designer here, you add a pivot to this design and a whole bunch of the personality is gone aesthetically. Uh, this obviously creates a very specific and identifiable look. That's what drew me to it, right? I was drawn to this because it looked like this. I thought, how cool. The pivot is hidden, but there must be easy access to it. Turns out that's not the case. Uh, so achieving this aesthetic and at the same time making the pivot easily accessible is obviously, I'm just, I mean, I'm talking to myself in circles here. It's the same thing I'm saying over and over again. Uh, if the uh, owner of this life will allow me to, I will pop that scale off during the full review and show you guys what I'm talking about. I also want to look this thing over and see if I have any ideas for how they could complete this aesthetic um, without having to use adhesive or maybe you know some other system that might allow access to that pivot a little better. Uh, that's going to be tricky, right? My job, you know, criticizing is much easier than the job of the designer trying to achieve a certain aesthetic, and I acknowledge that. It is much easier to complain about things. I mean, look, look at all of us, right? Everybody who's gonna leave a comment in the comment section, you're in the same boat. It's way easier to leave a <laughs> to leave a, a complaint than it is to come up with a system that solves this issue, right? Well, I'm sure that there's gonna be many, many ideas. It's probably also a little bit tricky to implement those ideas and continue to manufacture this thing in the United States, which as of right now, I assume is the case. So anyways, cool. But the, an, an obvious, an, an obvious uh, hiccup, right?
Overall length of this guy, coming in at eight. That's my size of knife. That's my size right there, a little over eight inches. That's where we, uh, where we want it to be. Eight and an eighth, blade length three and a half, cutting edge three and a quarter. About perfect. That's cool. I do like that a lot, and it is very comfortable. Very comfortable, very complete looking knife. They had a vision for the aesthetic, and it does have a complete aesthetic. Everything looks like it goes together, right? I assume that when this is properly tuned, everything will feel great. Until then, yeah, it's yet to be seen. Thank you for the weird candy. <laughs> Thank you for the... The green one's pretty nice. It's pretty good. Right? I'll save that one. I'm glad you only sent one yellow one. That was odd. Um, and I, need, I feel like I need to brush my teeth. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Where is my card? There we go. Please. I will review this. You'll get a full review. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have... Lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.